This is just a quick video to demonstrate one of the most blindingly obvious flaws in the Zetetic cosmology. Uh, I could have chosen uh, something else like the lunar surface features like the craters and mountains and maria etc etc but the lunar phases are so readily apparent that uh, I'm gonna go with those. Now let's say well first let me explain what the uh, flat earthers say about the motion of the moon and the sun. They claim that the earth is a big flat disk about 25,000 miles across and that the sun and the moon revolve around above it on planes that are parallel to the earth's surface but a few thousand miles up. And they say that these are their revolutions are centered around the north pole and explain the seasons. They say that the sun moves northward for half the year and then its orbits get larger and it gradually moves southward for half the year and it moves back and forth like that. But the reason that they came up with this model is because in the mid-19th century when the Zetetic nonsense was being created, everyone knew that not everyone on the earth experienced day and night at the same time. They had to try to explain why people in Moscow could be experiencing the middle of the night at exactly the same time than people in San Diego were experiencing the middle of the day. So that's why they came up with this idea of the Earth revolving around above the surface of the Earth and only lighting part of it. But here's the problem. Let's say you're standing below the moon you're on a point, a point on the surface of the Earth directly underneath the moon, and you're seeing it in its first quarter, like this. Okay, so here's you at point B, and the black line is the surface of the Earth. And you're looking directly up at the moon. And I'm going to put the lens right over point B and look at the moon and see it in its first quarter. Now let's say you're another observer about 3,000 miles away. So if the moon is 3,000 miles up and the person is at a point 3,000 miles away from the point directly under it, they'll be looking at it from an angle 45 degrees different than the person at point C. So let's put the lens right over point C and look at the moon. Wow, at exactly the same moment that observer B is looking at the moon, observer C is seeing a gibbous moon. See, not at all a quarter. He sees considerably more than half of it illuminated. And of course, if you go 3,000 miles in the opposite direction from the original observer, we'll go over to observer A here, and we're going to put our lens directly over point A and look back at the ping pong ball moon here. And you can see that it's a crescent moon at exactly the same time. So if the Zetetic model were true, People all over the Earth should see the moon quite differently at exactly the same time. No two people would see exactly the same view of the moon. It would vary depending upon their location on the Earth. Of course, in real life, when one person on the moon is seeing a first quarter moon, everybody else on Earth who can see the moon at the same time is seeing a first quarter moon. No one on Earth can ever see the moon by a difference in angle of more than about 1.9 degrees. That's like having an object 30 feet away and stepping one foot to the right and looking at it and seeing the change in angle. So have at it, Flat Earthers. Try to explain the magic behind everyone on Earth seeing the moon 
at exactly the same phase at exactly the same time.